Hey Jed. Here's another tune. Might pop it up that way for you there. The old landscape going on. So, um, I like seeing it in A flat, so I put a capo across the first fret. Um, and then you're going to be playing a G chord to kick things off. So it's an A flat. I'll talk in terms of relative to the capo, as in uh, the shapes, not the absolute pitch. So, an A flat chord. Proceeds to do the exact opposite. So G chord to start, and then E minor. You can do E minor seven. You can do E minor nine. They're all good. So e, there's your E minor. Just gonna give you some options. You can put your second thing on that second fret up top. Gorgeous sounding chord. You could also do this bad boy. You know, all good options. I quite like that one. Sort of only just did it then though. So, that as well. So you got your seven with your pinky there, and then the nine up on top. Or just do minor seven, there you go. Next we got a C chord. You can do C major seven. So by virtue of just lifting that index finger off, you get this gorgeous sound. You could even put the F sharp in there. I sound a bit clangy. That's your, um. Glenn Hansen sort of sounding chord. Soulful moaning over that one. And then back to A flat. G. Here we are again. The G. There's nothing much else you can do with the G, if I'm completely frank. Um, could potentially put the 9 in. Okay, yeah, I'll talk you through that one. That, that one's worthwhile having a crack. So you put your, you got your tonic, G, down the bottom there. You're then basically muting the A. You've got nothing coming out of that one. Open D. Then your G string, you're fretting on the second. Or the third, yeah, the second. Okay, and that's your nine. It's quite nice. Then your open B. And then again, it's your third fret, E up on top. So you got this. have fun with it. So that one in there you'll have heard the voice leading up top. I did the G ringing up top, then to the E minor add 9, E minor 7, E minor 9. So you're coming down off the top, then to the open E up top with our C major 7. Then that can go all the way back up or you can go down to... So there I'm being careful not to strike the top E in this G chord. I'm just using that third fret there. I mean, you could do that. i 
I'm no Sam Smith, but it's pretty fun. Good shit. Alrighty. See you, Jed. Have fun. Bye.